in this video we have been given that angle ABD is 60 degree angle ACD is 10 degree and angle CAD is 10 degree and BD is 2 AC is X then we have to find X so the first method in any triangle if this angle is alpha this angle is beta then this exterior angle it will be alpha plus beta so here this angle it will be 10 degree plus 10 degree that will be 20 degree and we have AC is X AC is X and now from point D if we make a perpendicular on AC suppose this point is P then in triangle ACD these two angles are equal that is 10 degree so AD it will be equal to CD and if we make a perpendicular from D on AC this point is P then by symmetry AP it will be equal to CP that will be AC over 2 and AC is X over 2 so AP will be X over 2 and CP it will be X over 2 we get AP is X over 2 and CP is X over 2 and now if we extend AB and from point D if we make a perpendicular on AB suppose this point is Q then in triangle BQD this angle is 90 degree this angle is 60 degree so this angle it will be 30 degree and this angle it will be 30 degree minus 20 degree that will be 10 degree it will be 10 degree and now in triangle ADQ and triangle DAP we have angle ADQ is equal to angle DAP that is 10 degree and angle AQD is equal to angle DPA that is 90 degree and AD it will be equal to DA that is common so triangle ADQ it will be congruent to triangle DAP and
these two triangles are congruent hence dq it will be equal to ap and dq it will be equal to ap is x over 2 so dq it will be x over 2 and now in triangle bqd dq is x over 2 bd is 2 and this angle is 60 degree this angle is 90 degree so sin 60 degree it will be dq over bd and sin 60 degree it is root 3 over 2 it is equal to dq is x over 2 over bd is 2 and 2 will get cancelled so we get root 3 is equal to x over 2 so x will be 2 times root 3 and the second method this angle it will be 180 degree minus 10 degree minus 10 degree that will be 160 degree so this angle it will be 180 degree minus 160 degree that will be 20 degree and this angle it will be 180 degree minus 60 degree minus 20 degree that will be 100 degree and now in any triangle a b c if b c is a a c is b and a b is c then a over sin a it is equal to b over sin b it is equal to c over sin c so here in triangle a c d it is a c d a c is x and this angle is 10 degree this angle is 160 degree so a c over sin 160 degree it will be equal to a d over sin 10 degree and in triangle a b d it is a b d b d is 2 this angle is 100 degree and this angle is 60 degree so a d over sin 60 degree it will be equal to b d over sin 100 degree and a d over sin 60 degree it will be equal to b d is 2 over sin 100 degree so a d it will be 2 times sin 60 degree over sin 100 degree 
and from here AC is x over sin 160 degree it is equal to AD over sin 10 degree and it is x over sin 160 degree is equal to and AD it is 2 times sin 60 degree over sin 100 degree over sin 10 degree and it is x over sin 160 degree is equal to 2 times sin 60 degree over sin 100 degree times sin 10 degree and now we know that sin 180 degree minus theta is sin theta so sin 180 degree minus 20 degree it will be sin 20 degree so it will be x over and sin 160 degree it will be sin 20 degree it will be 2 times sin 60 degree over sin 100 degree times sin 10 degree and now we know that sin 2a it is 2 sin a cos a so it will be x over and sin 20 degree it will be 2 times sin 10 degree times cos 10 degree it is equal to 2 times sin 60 degree over sin 100 degree times sin 10 degree and sin 10 degree will get cancelled and also sin 90 degree plus theta it is cos theta so sin 100 degree it will be sin 90 degree plus 10 degree that will be cos 10 degree so cos 10 degree and sin 100 degree when you get cancelled so it is x over 2 is 2 sin 60 degree so x it will be 4 sin 60 degree and it is 4 times sin 60 degree it is root 3 over 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 so it will be 2 times root 3 